How's it going, everybody? I'm doing a uh, another garage sales pickup video. This one is going to be a there you go. A gum chewing one. Got some fresh gum, so get to the old uh, gum chewing bits again for a little bit. good amount of garage sales this weekend. I think it was 17. The problem is I only got six games, but I need to learn up more on other stuff, so collect other things from these garage sales. Um, five of the six games I got at a garage sale that wasn't even on Craigslist and didn't even have signs up for it. I was going to another one and came across it. I was glad I did, though. The first one I'll show you though is a game like the sixth game I got in another garage sale. I picked it up because I thought it might have value and it was only a buck, but it's a Nickelodeon Barnyard. The original party animals. It doesn't have its manual, this one. worth like six or seven bucks or something but it's always worth the risk and the next five I got at the other garage sale I had two other games in my hand but they unfortunately were not in the case it was Destroy All Home Humans 2 which I really wanted and Sonic Riders so they both didn't have the disc I told the guy I was like oh these two don't have the disc and he just brought them inside, but these uh, five games were 50 cents each, so you can't beat that. It's uh, three PlayStation 2 games and two Wii games. First one is uh, Jaws Unleashed. I tested them all, they work. The discs are fairly scratched. This one is complete. I was playing this for a little bit. It's pretty funny, actually. Your your jaws, and you just... I was doing a tutorial. You just go around smashing into boats, eating people, messing up people in diving cages, eating other sharks. It was funny. <laughs> I was really getting a kick out of it for some reason. It was kind of cool. I don't know if I'll keep it, but... I thought it was pretty funny. It, was, it certainly did different, for sure. I mean, the controls, even from the tutorial, were a little annoying, but I said it was pretty good fun, for sure. Um, second one here is Star Wars Battlefront 2. This disc was pretty scratched, but it does work. It's complete, but unfortunately, the uh, artwork is waterlogged and really fucked up. As you can see there, it's attached to the plastic on the case, so it's all ripped, it's off, pulled off of the artwork itself, which kind of sucks, but um, I have other cases. I played a little of this too when testing it. It's okay, it seems obviously better if you're playing with other people. I was using Clone Trooper, just shooting up droids, pretty much. Um, but it does work, which is good. Last PlayStation 2 game is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 Mutant Nightmares. Um, complete as well. This disc is actually in pretty good condition. I played this a little bit. It's a uh, cell shaded. It seemed like a fun little beat em up. 
Um, it says earn experience points, develop the ultimate turtle. All new target attack system, and this is kind of cool. Unlock turtles in time. That's a classic. It seemed okay, you know. I was using Leonardo. I don't know if they have special abilities or not. I didn't play for too long. And the next two are Wii games. Now yeah, the first one is Super Mario Galaxy. Also complete. I never I played a little bit of this back in the day. I think it came out in like 2007. Yeah, 11 years, my God. <laughs> um, it was fun. I don't know, I didn't play much of it. I might keep this one, though, to play it. Um, it still looks great. I mean, that's the beauty of Nintendo's art style on their first-party games, or at least most of them. The art style holds up, like, considerably, especially in these Mario games, because this still looks really good. I mean, this is an 11, 11-year-old game, and, and the Wii... I don't even know if the Wii had the graphical power of the original Xbox. <laughs> it might have, but... I don't know, the, the original Xbox is actually pretty powerful first time. Definitely cool, though. Like I said, I might, I might uh, hold on to this one. It doesn't have a ton of value. It's maybe like 8 9 bucks. Um, surprising for a Mario game. Of course, a classic GameStop. I don't know if you can see it. Because this had other stickers on the front and back, GameStop stickers, but they put, they went through a period, I don't know if they still do it, where they were putting the stickers on the artwork itself, which is so weird. And then they would start putting it on the spine, or they would just have a little slip inside the spine, so it would just fall out. And the last one is, uh... A game I come across like three times at least. I picked this up at least three times like every garage sale season for the past like four or five years. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and it's a uh, Mario Kart Wii. Still, still a uh, good value, and especially like all these games at 50 cents is a great value. Um, I played a little bit of this again just to test it. I'm not super into this one. I'm not super into Mario Kart, to be honest. It's also complete. A more of a. I like the one on the Super Nintendo, the original, but my friends and I used to really play the battle mode in Mario Kart 64. The balloons over your car. I played a tiny bit of Double Dash on the cube, but, and I've not played, or maybe I played a very small amount of the one on the Wii U and the Switch. But I'm not super like I'm not super into racing games unless it's Burnout or uh, F Zero, and I don't believe they made an F Zero for the Wii. It was Super Nintendo N64, and then they had the one on. <laughs> Funny story about the one. I think it was F Zero, just F Zero X. Was it GX on the N64? Maybe it was F Zero X on the N64 and F Zero GX for the Cube. That game is the only game I ever got nauseous from. This, I was on this one level, I can't remember which one was. It was going so fast, I started to get nauseous. I was like, oh my god. Pretty cool game, though. I played the hell out of the one on the N64. I remember I played it like in the morning before going off to a... I was going to Nassau Community College at the time. I'm playing it, man. God, that's been like 20 years, too. Jeez Louise. And these games just keep getting older and older, but... Video games were really a uh, good nostalgia kick, <laughs> for sure. It takes you back, almost like a time travel device, video games in some instances. Um, I just wanted to get that up, get another video up too. I keep trying to get into the groove of getting you know, more videos up more consistently, like I was a few months prior. You know, but hopefully I can. Excuse me. I just want to throw it up for you. Another thing. No, it's not like you guys need to know, but I'm actually going to start, I think, collecting Xbox 360 games. I've gotten a few from garage sales, which are cheap, as you've seen. 
in the previous video and I have some left over from like last year and earlier this year. Um, but they're also dirt cheap now at GameStop. And there's a couple, I'm trying to get ones I either really want to play again or ones I didn't play. So like uh, Tom Clancy's uh, Ghost Recon Future Soldier, I want to pick up. That's like three bucks at GameStop. I've never played that one. Borderlands 2, I never played. Love the first. That's three bucks. I'd like to get Lords of Shadow 2. I keep forgetting about Lords of Shadow 2. Um, I meant to get it when it came out. I think it came out in 2014. I think it came out after the other systems came out. Um, but I didn't have the money at the time, and I just forgot about it. And I love the first Lords of Shadow. I know I've heard the second one's not nearly as good, but I still want to pick it up. And that one's only like 10 bucks, so... Mm. There's a couple other games I'd like to just have to play again as well, so maybe in, in a month or two. I'll do like gum chewing Xbox 360 collection or something. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, show the stuff I got this weekend. wasn't much, but, you know, for uh, 350 for six games is pretty damn good, so I'll take it, even though it wasn't much. But thanks everyone for checking out, and have a good night.